Well, good afternoon. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming out today. For more than 40 years, Indianapolis has built success by being an open, a welcoming, and inclusive city. We exemplify who's your hospitality. That's who we are. In recent years, we have grown into a global city, an international destination, and a hub of economic development by focusing on talent recruitment. That is what I talk about every single day. Our city thrives because we have welcomed and embraced diversity. And RIFRA threatens what thousands of people have spent decades building. And I won't allow that to happen to Indianapolis without a fight. 40 years of history as one of the most hospitable communities in America should not be placed in jeopardy with this act. This isn't about politics. This is not about PR. This is about doing what's right for individuals, for our city, and for our state. Discrimination is wrong. And I hope that message is being heard loud and clear at our State House. I know right now, as we speak, they are working at the State House on language that will clarify how we feel about this issue in the city of Indianapolis and the state of Indiana. For those who plan to travel to our city for this weekend's upcoming Final Four, let me be clear. Indy welcomes all. Residents, visitors, and our workforce have always been and continue to be protected by our city's human rights ordinance. Hoosier hospitality is alive and well in Indy, and it will be extended to everybody. These teams have worked hard to get here, and we'll work hard to give them the same enjoyable Indianapolis experience the world has come to expect. I know the City County Council is planning to introduce a resolution this evening to echo what we all feel, and I support the Council's efforts. In addition to that resolution, I have issued an executive order affirming that any entity receiving public funds from the City of Indianapolis must agree to abide by the terms of our City's Human Rights Ordinance. The order also requests that the Indiana General Assembly and the governor expressly add sexual orientation and gender identity as protected classes in state law. <clears throat> and that they exempt the city's ordinances and resolutions, executive or administrative orders, regulations, customs, and usages from RIFRA's application. Call upon Governor Pence in the Indiana legislature to fix this law. Either repeal it or pass a law that protects all who live, work, and visit Indiana. And do so immediately. Indianapolis will not be defined by this. Indianapolis will not be defined by this. Indianapolis welcomes everybody. Thank you for coming out this afternoon. Right. Any questions? Mr. Mayor, any idea on how much uh, the Ripper controversy has cost? I don't think any numbers have been added up, but we're not sure that. It, it, I think it's the continuing part that's, that we're worried about. I don't think, and I don't know if Leonard wants to speak anything in particular, but I don't think anything 
substantive yet. You know, Merrick, to the... Uh, we'll go to the... Yeah. We've had a lot of inquiries to the extent that we have some goodwill built up as a destination. A lot of our customers know us well, and the general conversations we've been having is we want you to figure out a way to fix this because we don't want to leave Indianapolis. We don't want to leave Indiana. We don't want to leave Indianapolis. They're giving us time to get this fixed, uh, but we don't have a lot of time. Well, we've been talking to a lot of people. I had two important phone calls today. Uh, we'll be planning for the final four, obviously, to make sure that the entire presence of the city bespeaks to what I, I just talked about. Uh, we will also continue to work with the state house, uh, along with part local partners, to make sure that we get what we need in a very short order. <coughs> Well, let me be clear about our decision. Uh, our decision was simply to, to uh, turn down the offer of tax credits by the state. Uh, we're not going to be in a position that we're in partnership with the state with RIFRA in place, a partnership that would require us to meet job and hiring obligations that they're working to make more difficult. We don't support this legislation, but we're, we continue to be, uh, we continue to be from Indianapolis, we're Indianapolis based, and we're gonna look for every way that we can to remain here. Uh, we've had a great relationship with the mayor. We've had really good discussions with the city county council. This is strictly about the state's position. It, it'll make our development harder. But uh, but we have no intention of moving, or we're just going to have to find alternatives. If the state does repeal this law, would you reconsider your plans that you uh, talking about the money that you take in state and state? Yeah, we we'll we'll look into that. I, it, at this point, my preference is to attempt to do this without any assistance. But we will certainly. Uh, we will certainly consider based on what the legislature, if the legislature takes decisive action, an action that is consistent with what the mayor has called for, not some, not some band-aid put over to attempt to mask this, well then, then essentially we're, we're willing to talk to the state. Are you encouraged at all by what you've heard out of the state house today, Speaker Bosma and Senator Not at all. How would you characterize what you've heard? Uh, they're scrambling to put a good face on a bad issue. And what puzzles me is how this, this effort came to the top of the legislative agenda when clearly the business community doesn't support it and when and clearly the people of Indiana don't support it. So we are faced with a question, how did it get there? And I think the photograph uh, that, that was leaked out of the mayor's office made it all too clear. Governor's office. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did. I didn't get it from the mayor. I. Uh, Why don't you say that again? Yes. All right. Thank you. The the uh, the photograph of of the bill signing uh, that was that was uh, leaked out of the governor's office uh, made it all too clear who's driving the legislative agenda in this state, and I just think that's wrong. Thanks, Bill. Anything else? Uh, Michael, uh, the chamber testified early. Uh, I guess when we look at sort of the fallout, what's sort of happening on the, the national stage, are you guys shocked or surprised that you know, what's come back? Absolutely. We knew that it would be bad, which is why, as an organization representing over 2,200 businesses, we were against it. But it's been worse than we anticipated, and it's galvanized support among several companies of different industries, including major employers. Um, our elected leaders are already hearing from us at the State House, and we're 100 percent in support of the mayor's position. I mean, have you had people outright say, when I talked to the mayor of Fishers, who said that uh, a company out of Chicago over the weekend decided to cancel plans to expand. What have you heard so far? Our competitor cities are already running all kinds of creative, you know, press and things, things like that to try to poach our companies, and it's really shameful because this is something that we did not support. I'm confident, though, we've had we've had such a, an outpouring of support from our members and other companies that if we can put a positive message together, I'm still optimistic we can reel this back in as a business community. Mayor, what have you heard from any of these companies? Uh, similar to what all of you have heard too, and, and, and what you've been reporting, probably a few more details, but uh, generally speaking, that's that's what's happening. 
I have. Elaborate on. I hate to talk about private conversations. Uh, I really never do that, but I would suggest that he's in. He's very much supportive of what I just spoke about. And he wants to help. What are so. you bound to tell uh, Mark Emmert and the others in the NCAA about, about this? Uh, I have talked to Mark Emmert today, uh, actually also, and uh, again, as, as others have mentioned, as Leonard mentioned, certainly, uh, uh, we all know where we want to go on this, and we're all trying to find the solution to it, and I think the NCAA is also. Uh, all that said, I, I don't think there's a, a dramatic amount of time involved here. I mean, it's very clear what's happening as we speak. Have you had any indication from Mr. Emmert about future NCAA men's basketball championships held in the city because of this act? We, we haven't talked about that whatsoever. Not part of the, not part of it. So I mean, I don't want to go too deeply, but no. I mean, we have no no events, nothing. Mr. Mayor, on the legal side of work, uh, not to get too far in the weeds, but part of the law says that. Government can't interfere with your religious belief. Let's have some compelling interest. Have you directed city council, city attorney to start, you know, doing research, preparing drafts just in case if it does become law and somebody does try to discriminate, that the city is ready to enforce the human rights order? I'm not sure the city legal has been doing anything but similar things to what you just said. They've been working on this uh, uh, for for the last few days. Are you worried at all on this boycott class that we're calling this? I think there will be some impact. I don't. I'm, I'm hoping it will be very, very minor. Uh, but uh, again, I hope that uh, we will get the message out, and with uh, a lot of good partners who really want to help us uh, make sure that people see Indianapolis as we truly are. Hopefully, our partners in that regard will will turn the tide. And Mayor, have you heard from uh, the mayor of Seattle or the mayor of San Francisco and now the governor of Connecticut? Uh, no, I am not. Um, I know, the, I know the mayor of San Francisco pretty well. I don't really know the Seattle mayor very well, but I have been in contact with the U.S. Conference of Mayors, uh, both the executive director and the president. Are you worried that they might change their decision on having the conference here? Yes. And is it strictly over this? Or yes. What do you do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all of the above, all yes. Thank you so much for coming out today. Appreciate it.